turned while recording. Hallelujah. Somebody check, 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 check your Facebook and make sure that this is the right way. Because it's told me something about a rotation. I don't want to be upside down. Am I upside down? You're kidding, right? I'm sideways? Yeah. You gotta set your palm straight up. Huh? That's how you use it. No, 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 leave it. That's how I usually am? No. On your phone? No. Okay, do what you finna do. Who all got. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I might be sideways or whatever I am. The kids tore it up. Okay, because you got widescreen, that's why. No, he's always have. No, he's normal. I'm normal now? Okay. That's how it's supposed to be? Mm hmm. Okay. Well, then that's how we rock. Sorry, y'all, for the delay if I was sideways or upside down or whatever. You're straight, yeah. Okay, we good. Mm -hmm. All right. We straight, y'all. Now I know, because I didn't know that. All right, bless you. Uh, thanks for chiming in. Um, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. I, I really don't celebrate stuff, but I, I love mothers. And I got my own mother. Bless you. Bless you, Mom. Thanks for bringing me here. I love you. Okay, let's get ready to get into words, y'all. Um, let's, let's say a prayer. Uh, Spirit of the Most High, we love you, and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. How many we know how? Are celebrating your presence. Um, we're in need of the truth of your word. We need the leading of your Ruach HaKadosh, your spirit leading and guiding us in all truth. Uh, we, we need your truth. And um, so send it. Send the relevant truth that we may govern ourselves accordingly. We trust, believe, and thank you. In the master's name of Yahushua HaMashiach, we only pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all man. Now, because we're not like governed by man's traditional, you know, um, holidays, um, you know, I know like a lot of people be expecting Mother Day, Mother's Day uh, lessons and all that. And so um, the lesson is love your mother. Yeah, love your mother. So, yeah, lo love your mother and your father. Every day, it shouldn't be a specified day to honor honor them. We we need to be honoring our parents every day. All right, uh, let's let's go to um, <clears throat> let's go to Luke. Let's go to Lucas, y'all. Lucas, uh, fourteen. Yeah, fourteen. Luke fourteen. And let's start at the 25th verse. Is that all right? Nicole, Trinda, Jeff, what are y'all doing? Oh, 14 and 25. And let's look what it say. The, 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 those, okay, I ain't going to go there. I was going to go there, but I'm not. Let's just, let's do it. Luke 14 and 25. Look what it says. And there went great multitudes with him. And the hymn is Yahushua, y'all, the Messiah, right? And there went great multitudes with him. And he turned and said unto them, If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife, and children, brother, sister, yea, even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. <coughs> Excuse me. And whosoever doth not bear his, you know, his cross, the King James Version says, right? His cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Okay. Um, well, you know, you know, the word is not talking about, um, you know, you know, hating people. 
you know, and all and all that getting, get understanding. It's not it's not talking about um, you know hating people. It's talking about a comparison analysis. Now, what's necessary? What's necessary um, in being saved is receiving the word with a different ear. And that's the truth. The word offers a statement like, um, he did have an ear to hear, let him hear. You know, what, what, what Yah is saying to the body, what, what, the, what the Ruah, the spirit is saying to the Ecclesia, what they call the church, right? We're talking about his children, right? There's a certain ear that one has to acquire in order to be saved. It's a certain ear. It's different from your regular ear. It's, it's totally different. This ear has a built-in adhere in it. The, the necessary ear has a, 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 a adhere attached because our regular ear doesn't have that. Listen all you want. That don't mean you're going to do it. You can even agree verbally. Our, our, our natural ear will trigger our mouth and even our emotions will agree with it. Your regular ear. You hear somebody, you hear Yah, to be more specific, right? You hear the word and you can even agree with it. That is true. But there's no attachment to that listening. You can disregard it after agreeing with it, even saying I'm going to do it. So, then the task becomes in reading a scripture like this. There's a certain way you got to listen. And the type of required listening, what I'm saying right now, y'all, is a prelude, but it's really a message all within itself. I almost want to preach it right now, I'll tell you the truth. But, but you know, there, there's something that you have to do in order to be able to receive the word the right way. Not only, not only being able to decode its dark sayings, and the dark sayings don't mean evil, it means hidden. It's hidden knowledge that a natural person can agree with. A natural person can agree with the hidden knowledge and even perceive what you're saying, but they really don't get it like they think they do. And the only way it's unlocked is you got to have the right heart. And of course, you know, in, in Jeremiah uh, 17, it talks about the heart of man being deceitful above everything. So that joke is tricky. And it, it, it not only is it deceitful, but it's, 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 it's desperately wicked. So one goes along with their original heart, you know, and they tore up ear and really don't get what this is saying. And the unwillingness to do it. Not only the unwillingness to do it, but don't even perceive the necessity of it. Okay. I just thought I'd share that, right? So, <clears throat> with that being said, look. It says, If any man come to me and hate not his father. Well, one you want to do is look up the word hate and understand that it's not hate. It's to prefer more. You, if, if, if push came to show, someone asked me the other day, right, you know, asked me the other day when it came to protecting my family, right, you know, you know, they, they wanted me per se to go into action and they asked me, who you respect more, your family or y'all? <laughs> now, I didn't get a chance to answer them. Because some have with the phone or whatever, and the conversation ended right there, right? But I believe before the the the, the phone went dead on that, um, I was able just to say to them, "What do you mean by that?" That's what I was able to ask them. Like, what do you, what do, you, what do you, I'm trying to understand what you're saying to me, <laughs> and that's that's all I can get from them. And we we didn't pick the conversation back up, but. Um, well, like the necessity of life itself 
is at stake here. The necess See, w if we ever understand that Yah is our very life and in him we live, move, and have our being, right? But he's a certain quality of life that's necessary in order for us to appropriately govern any relationship we got in the first place. You can't, you, look, hey, it's, 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 uh, it's people, shalom, shalom, we're in Luke of 14, and we're starting at the 25th verse, right? It's, it's mothers out there that can't stand their children. And it's children out there that can't stand their mothers. Happy Mother's Day, y'all. <laughs> There's fathers that don't love their children. And it's children that don't love their fathers. There's, there's a rift in relationships. Brothers, sisters, all, 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 all kind of stuff, right? Uh, uh, children and brethren. I don't care, I don't care what, I don't care what the title is. If you don't have Yah, you don't know how to govern that relationship. You do not know how to govern a relationship appropriately without the most high. You got children that have cuss their parents out. You you got you got you got parents that literally cuss their children out. You little MF, get over here. Before I kick the S out of you, you such and so and such a And then the and then the kids say, Dang <laughs> Can't stand your evil A. <laughs> Can, can I use abbreviations to, to, to show how, how, how people, people are so wicked towards one another and then can't even fathom the idea of the necessity of loving y'all more than they love each other? Because you can't love each other without him. You can't love without love. He is love. How y'all read the scripture? Yah is love. How, how you gonna govern a relationship with anybody? You can't love your spouse without Yah. Huh. You got some worldly love jumping off. You got some worldly love jumping off. Because the Yali love is on a whole nother level. It's way different. It don't run out. <laughs> It don't behave itself unseemly in its kind. Come on, somebody. And you got to know that. So look what it says. Look what the scriptures say, right? It says, if any man come to me and hate not his father. Look, like we talking, look, we talking about getting saved at this point, right? So when you come to the most high, and you prefer someone more than him, you're automatically disqualified. Did y'all know that? Automatically. You're automatically disqualified because one, they have more influence over you. They, they, got, they got more influence over you. Whoever it is you prefer more than him, if push came to shove, you would choose them over him. He's not ego tripping. See, false doctrine or carnal thinking would think that Yah is tripping to even suggest something like that. Oh, he want me to love, well, he want me to love him more than my mama, my mama brought me here. <laughs> and he the one that brought your mama here. It was really him that brought you here. Oh, we're going to talk about it today. So, if any, if any man come to him, remember, this is, this is the prelude. This is the beginning of salvation. If any man come to him, right, 
and prefers someone more. Some people come to him and they prefer their man and their woman more than him. That's why they still fornicate. Because their preference is with their love life or their lover. Some folks love their children more than him. And their main priority is their children over him. As if there's a benefit to that. But the instruction manual of how to raise your children is him. How to provide for them. How to teach them what they really need to know. What life is really all about comes from him. You want to be a good parent? It comes from him. Because without him, you don't even know how to treat them. You don't know how to treat no child. Without him. Because in him we live, move, and have our being. And he's the very definition of love. And if you want to love your child, you're going to get it from him. We have a tendency to fall in love uh, with the creature more than the creator. With the created more than the creator of the created. We have a, we, we have a tendency of doing silly stuff like that, right? But coming to him, you set your priorities straight. When you fall in love with him, you're able to meditate on him both day and night. And you'll be like that tree planted by the rivers of water, right? Mm -hmm. I remember when I first got saved, right? And I was reading and all that. I, I fell straight in love with him. I felt like like you know, on a crazy level, like, 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 whoa, right? But then I would read scriptures like the scriptures would suggest that I'm supposed to uh, pray without ceasing. A scripture like that, right? And I would think to myself, how in the world am I supposed to pray without ceasing? Of course I'm going to stop. And then I found myself like when I'm in my daily routine, I literally was thinking about him and talking to him non-stop. Yes. Never did I stop. I just was always acknowledging him and talking to him and thinking about him. And I just thought to myself and I smiled at the revelation through relationship. The revelation came through relationship that he's a constant in my life. He's 100% constant in my life at all times. I'm always thinking about him. Still right now, I think about him all the time. Yeah. Yeah. What I say, what I do, what I, I'm just thinking about him. Yeah. So, in thinking about him, being aware of his presence, to put things in his proper perspective comes naturally because it comes through his spirit. He actually sets you up mentally for the victory. And things literally fall in place. He didn't have to uh, coach me into putting him before who I was sleeping with at the time. I had to, I had to indulge in some self-denial, of course, because the flesh has a separate agenda from him. Your, 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 your evil desires, your fleshly nature has a, a separate agenda from the most high. I know this phone didn't do this. The phone? Mm -hmm. Did it? I heard it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sitting here teaching and it switched, huh? And whoever on the line is missing out. I heard you beeping twice. Okay, but I'm going to be all right. I, it just switched back. Something going on. I, I ain't going to trip. I'm going to keep teaching. Yeah, because it just switched back. I saw something else going on and then it switched. That's crazy. But... The, the Ruah, his spirit, his presence, puts things in perspective. It's our evil nature that will come back for the throne and switch it back. See, when you get saved, he put everything in order. You have everything you need to be saved when you first get saved. I'm saying when you get saved for real. I'm not talking about going to church. And that's where a lot of people miss out because they go to church and they think they saved. And they've been doing it for 20, 30, 40 years thinking they saved and they're not. But I can't get into that part. I can teach it skillfully too, 
But y'all got to get an increase. One plant is another water, but it's y'all to get an increase. But there's a certain level of surrender that takes place when you first receive him. And it's the emptying of yourself 100% and receiving him as master of your life. And once he take the will and take control, then there's a whole new sheriff in town now governing your life 100%. And that's just a whole nother level. Now, then the devil is in high pursuit of you. The devil become in high pursuit to then re-scramble it. To, to, to change uh, the natural order of salvation. Oh, it's the truth anyhow. To change the natural order of salvation of how it was supposed to be. You have to readjust some stuff. Well, the devil come to readjust. And you got to be a willing participant in, in keeping him on the throne in your life. Good to see you. Bless you. We in Luke uh, uh, 14 and, 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 and 25. So, look, he said, and there went great multitudes with him, and he turned and said unto them, if any man come to me, look, can you imagine, can you imagine a great multitude following the Messiah, right? Y'all get this in your mind, right? A great multitude following the Messiah. This is him witnessing, right? A great multitude following him, and he turned and says to them, don't put your mama before me. If, if you're going to follow me, you can't put your mama and your daddy and your children and nobody before me. Imagine that. How, how, how small his church would be. <laughs> he said, "If to come to me. He didn't say after you've been following me for a while. He said, in order to come to me, in order to come to me, you would have had, if, you, if we really learned the gospel the right way, boy, what a difference does that make? It calls, you know how we've seen those surrender all songs and stuff like that, right? We'll start figuring out how true that really is. How, how true it is and what a necessity it is. And what the devil does is he changes the format. He changes the requirement of being saved. He turns it into something else. Romans, the, the first chapter, speaks of how we reduce him to like four-footed beasts. We bring him on a level like he's a person or an animal. We either put him on our level or we put him lower than us so that we can live our lives and we're the beneficiaries of what he did. Coming down 42 generations, robed in the body, we make it about us to the point that we degrade him. And he works for us. Unbeknownst to ourselves, because that's what evil nature does. But true salvation is the destruction of your evil nature. You're being baptized into his death. And like as he was raised up by the power or the glory of the Father, even so we should walk in the newness of life. If you really understood, right, that if any man be in him, he's a new creation Old things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new. If you really understood that, that salvation really is a death, burial, and resurrection, not only his, but yours. So when one really comes to him, unbeknownst to themselves, they really died. <laughs> you was baptized into his death. Romans the sixth chapter, you really were. And folks don't get that because you ain't going to get that too much out of church. Preacher don't even know. <laughs> I can go there, but I ain't gonna squeeze that too hard right now. But it's a it's it look for him to turn to a multitude that's following him and say, if you don't hate, but we gonna get the proper definition of hate, it means to prefer more. Mother, father, sister, come on, y'all. Children, if you if you if you don't hate them, if you prefer them more, you're disqualified because you didn't die. The part of you that need to be dead isn't dead and it will prevent you from becoming a new creation in him. The only thing you can become is religious. Moving forward, if you don't surrender all like the songs say, right, 
They got the song was derived from the word through pure revelation, right? If you if you don't if you don't die out to you, look. When I got saved, I had to die out to me. One hundred. I'm telling you that. I'm, I'm speak for me, right? I literally had to die out to me because I had issues. And if I didn't die out to me. I would have never left my girlfriend at the time. Ain't no way I was gonna stop sleeping with her. I hope she ain't listening. Or do I hope she listens? How I'm supposed to feel, right? <laughs> or them, whoever I was sleeping with, I don't know. My nose? Okay. But I would not have stopped fornicating. Is that better? I would not have I would not have stopped. I would have not gave up the dope. I would have still been hanging with my thug partners. I would not have walked away had I not died to who I was. And too many people come to him from a religious standpoint, but they ain't walking away from nothing. Lead church, hop right back in the bed. Smoking a cigarette on their way. Stop to get some Hennessy because it's going down. Ain't nothing changed. They roll the decks ain't changed. And so this scripture is really is Luke uh, 14, y'all, if y'all want to know. Luke 14, and I'm beginning, I believe, at the 25th verse, right? But there's a multitude following him. Look at his witnessing, right? He's with, he turned to them and said, check this out. Why would you say that? Why would you preach this on Mother's Day, preacher? I didn't do it on purpose. He just led me here. Real talk. I'm just being honest, right? Happy Mother's Day, though. In the real, and I really mean that. I love y'all. Mothers is so important. And now we need to learn how to treat them. And through this scripture, we'll learn how. Because if you prefer, he turned to the multitude, turned to them and said, if, if, if you don't hate, and, and, and of course, y'all know, we don't hate. You know, looking up, it means to prefer more. If you don't hate mother, father, you know, brother, sister, all the way down to your own life, he said, you cannot be my disciple. Is he saying that from a standpoint of saying, since you love them, I don't want you to be my disciple? Or is he saying it from the standpoint of you can't because you can't live up to the standard? They're going to prevent you. You're going to take their word over mine. Yeah. You're, you're, you're going to, you're, you're, your heart is really with them, not knowing I want your heart to be with them. But you got to put things in this proper perspective. Because your heart ain't cool anyway. <laughs> the heart of man, above all things, is desperately wicked. Look, it's deceitful above all things and it's desperately wicked. Who can know it? The only one that can decode our heart is him. And he will reveal your shortcomings to you. Even in your parenting. Even in you being a child, a brother, a sister. Whatever title you got, you cannot fulfill it appropriately unless you die out and put him first. His request was to love him with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Why? Because if you leave some, the devil going to get it. Your evil nature going to grab it. And a little leaven leaveth the whole lump. He got something to work with. You can't, look, the operation was perfect because he's the one that did it, right? The operation of salvation happened through faith and confession. And it was a perfect operation, those that really did it. I'm not talking about folks that just run in their mouth in front of a church. I'm talking about one came to the end of themselves before him and really received him as master of their life, savior, messiah of their life. The, the, the operation was completed. So everything was put in its proper perspective. The devil then came and started attacking to try to rearrange you back to how you used to be. Now he's using your girlfriend and your mother and your brother and your sister and your partner and them. You know your partner and them. Bringing them back. Bring them back. We got to get y'all off the throne of your heart now, see? Because you just surrendered. You're a new creation, but I don't want you to know it. That's why we got to go through the, the mind renewal process, right? That's why we got to study to show ourselves to prove because we, we need to read and learn what we just got. 
Because if you don't know what you got, you'll lose it. Right. Had Eve known what she had, the snake would have never been able to take it from her. Yeah. Adam should have should have been there. But he wasn't. <laughs> so he turned to the multitude and said, if, if, if you prefer your mother or your father or your children, your, your own life, you cannot be my disciples. I'm not hating on you. I'm telling you the requirement. And if you don't take up your straw, they call it a cross, right? The, your, your torture stake, right? Your casket, <laughs> To put it in, in, in terms, because that's what you're going to die on, right? So your casket, right? And follow me. Remember you're dead. Remember you're not who you used to be. Remember you're new. Remember you gave him or her up in order to receive me. And you got to remember that. You can't do you. You did you. You hit a wall. It didn't work. It's not going to work. There's no eternal life in who we was. The resurrection is in him. You want to get up? It's in him. He's the resurrection. Didn't he tell Lazarus, uh, sisters in there, I am the resurrection. He said, I know you're going to raise up on the last day. He said, lady, I'm the resurrection right now. If you want to get up, you're going to have to get up now. To be rich in the walk in the newness of life. You're going to get up now. You're going to change now. The resurrection, it will lead and guide you into all truth right now. And I can't let your mama stop you. I don't want no misunderstanding. I'm not hating on your mama. I'll teach you how to treat her. Not hating on your daddy. Not hating on your children. I'm not hating on your life. I came to give you life and give it to you more abundant. Don't think I'm hating on your life because I tell you to lay it down. If I tell you to lay it down, I got the power to give, give to you so you can pick it back up again. And walk in the newness of life as a new creation, new and improved. Come on, somebody. I'm better with him. I'll treat you better with him. I'll talk to you better with him. I love you the right way, mama. I didn't key your car and bust your windows out. Now I'm giving you some flowers. You probably don't like them too much, do you? <laughs> no, I'd rather prefer him. And she wants you to, too. Please prefer him before me because you's a mess. Oh, it's the truth anyhow. Okay, mothers can clap now, see. But he said, if, 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 if you want to come after me, you know, let's, let's set things in its proper, let's prioritize, right? Now, what I will tell you is when you first came to me, I already set it in order. You know, you know how you, us husbands, we get to tripping. You, 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 you listen to, you listen to them, to them church folks more. You listen, to, you read, the, you listen to everybody over me now, huh? Not everybody, just him. You, 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 you want, you want, you want your spouse to love y'all more than they love you, or you gonna have some problems if you plan on being saved. You're going to have problems, but people live with problems, right? And they accept them. People got problems and they accept them because that comes along with the territory, even to a carnal mind, right? It comes along with the territory, right? The exposed problem will be when you decide you're going to heaven. If you decide you're going to heaven and you got a spouse that hasn't decided that, then that's when problems come. But greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. You're supposed to take the will. Because even the word teaches in Corinthians, the seventh chapter, the conversation of the wives will went over the husband. If the husband is not living like they should, the, the wife holding on, praying and doing what y'all say, doing, not preferring uh, their spouse over y'all. And that's tricky, but it's the truth anyhow. Or even vice versa, the conversation of the husband. We're supposed to be vessels of honor, and we're supposed to be leading everyone to the most high. And the only way you can do that successfully is by not preferring anyone over him, Mr. Truth Anyhow, right? In Psalms it says, um, a blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the unyali, right? The counsel is the influence. The counsel is the direction, Right? I'm not, uh-uh, I got to roll with him. I know what you say, but I got to roll with him. Same thing this scripture is saying. 
The word comes together so smooth it ain't even funny. Same thing the scripture saying. You don't prefer nothing to no one over him because, again, in him we live, move, and have our being. He is the direction. He's the love. He's the answer. He's the solution. He's the healing. He's the resurrection. He's our eternal life. He's everything. And if I mess around and put him first, you're going to love me. You're going to respect me. You might not agree with me right now because you carnal right now. You carnal right now. But I'm going to hold on to him until you wake up. But what I'm not going to do is put you or your counsel over him. Sorry, mama. You're a wise lady too, but I'm sorry. The word comes first. Dad, I know you're smart. You taught me a whole lot, and I appreciate you, but I'm not, you're not over y'all. Sorry. Children, I don't even know how to treat you or love you. I don't even know how to raise you right without him. Got to put him first. It's in my best interest. He's not eagle tripping. <laughs> uh, he's trying to save you. He's trying to rescue. He's trying to help you prioritize. Come on, somebody. He said, no, 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 no. You can't prefer. You can't prefer. You can't put him, you, her, them over me. And he said, and, and he gave two things, didn't he? Y'all want to read it? He said two things here, right? He said, if any man come to me and hate not his father and mother, wife, children, brethren, sister, yea, even his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. And whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. You got to bear your. Torture stake. For this lesson, I call it. Casket. Yeah, casket. You got to bear your exclusion from the equation. Because you being involved comes with the opinion. And the word teaches there's a way to see right onto a man, but the end thereof is the ways of death, right? If I get involved, <clears throat> I might fornicate. If I get involved, I might commit adultery. If I get involved, I might slap you in your dog on mouth. You say one more thing, spark to me. If I get involved, I might get drunk. I just want to hang out with the boys. <laughs> and get Come on, somebody. If I get involved, I don't feel like fellowship in the day. The, 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 you know, the word says, uh, uh, forsake not the assembling of ourselves together. I don't feel like it. <laughs> I don't feel like I, I, I And then I got a cap for it, too. God knows my heart. I, I got something for you. I'm going to back up my play with some religious jargon, right? I got something for you. If I get involved, if I, if, 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 if I don't, if I don't, if I don't empty myself of me, then I'm going to be a problem for me. Don't look shocked because we've been a problem to ourselves our whole lives. All the stuff we didn't did, the bad decisions we didn't made. All the stuff, all the drugs, and if if the secrets that we, we folks will run up out of here, if if a, if a screen popped up here with my secrets, I'm jumping out this window right here. Over, mother, sorry. <laughs> if my foot hits you on the way out the window, I might grab your foot. No, I'm gonna shake loose. I'm gonna, I'm not coming back up in here. <laughs> not where my business is on the wall. I'll get loose. Of all the junk that I've done in the I have to be excluded. And I got to let reality be the reason I'm excluded. All I got to do is go down memory lane. Or, and all I got to do is the stuff that I don't do because of him is enough to convince me I need to stay out of this. The stuff that I do not do is because of him. Because of this scripture. Because I can't prefer nothing to no one over him. Not even myself. I got, I got to carry my own casket. Because I remember the joker that's laying in there. The one that was baptized into his death. That rose up to walk in the newness of life. 
Had he not rose up to walk in the news of life, I know what he would be doing right now. I'd probably be dead. Off the decisions that I made, the people I was hanging with, the places I would go, the things I was willing to do to get paid or laid, prideful, I wanted to be obeyed. <laughs> yeah, let that joke a lie. Take up your, what they call it, a crawl. What is it, a straw, it's a torture stake? Torches. What is it, what we supposed to be nailed to, die on, hung from? Yeah, yeah. He said two things. If you, if you prefer other people over me, then they have influence over you, good or bad, right? Did you know someone can be so good to you and you love them so much that you prefer them over you Or even they influence you more than y'all for the bad, meaning they do the fool to you and now you can't obey y'all because you're so mad. You got revenge in your heart. So now you can't obey y'all because they still have influence over you. People have a way of influencing you for good or for bad. They, no one should have influence over you more than y'all. Period. Good or bad. I'm going to kill you. No, you're going to be, yeah. As good as I was to you and you did this to me, I swear. No, no, no. Blessed is the man that walking out in the council, the influence of the unyali. Unyali folks do unyali things. And they shouldn't have influence or power over you more than the Ruach HaKadosh, his spirit. Ain't no way. Then you got to be willing to take up your torture stake because life serves blows. It's the truth anyhow. Life will hit you in the mouth, bust, uh, look, bust both your lips, knock all your teeth out, throat swollen. You got hit so hard. Life, life will knock you. But the resurrection, come on somebody. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Weapons are the things that this life serve. But greater is he that's in us than it's the truth anyhow. Greater is he that's in us than he that's in the I'm not going to keep y'all too much longer. I'm just telling you the truth. But greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. No, I came to protect his integrity today. He is not ego tripping. This scripture 1000% came to protect us from us. To, to protect us from the titles that carnality is wrapped in. There's a lifestyle that comes along with these titles. There's an earthly, worldly opinion that comes along with these titles. And that is not where our eternal life lies. Our eternal life lies in him and him alone. And that's why he has to be first. Then not only do we know how to love these folks, but we can lead them to him. If he's first. And we get to stay with him if we stop being first. If we learn how to deny ourselves, take up our screw arts, our torture stake, aka cross, if we're able to take it up. Again, I'm trying to close, but I'm going to say this. Because with no hesitation, I can admit that I'm, um, I am a human being and my nature is not good. I can admit that. Real talk. I can admit Easy. No hesitation. I'm not trying to pretend to be a goody two-shoes, none of that, right? So I use myself as an example. I'm not cool. And if I obey my, my evil nature, I wouldn't be cool. I am cool, but only for one reason. Because of him. I'm not going to front. I just was not the... <laughs> I'm just not that good guy. That's just not who I am. I am, though, even beyond that, because of him. I'm borrowing from him. You know how the word says we become his righteousness? Yeah. See, folks, we have scriptures all twisted so bad they ain't fun. Like it's just hypothetically or, uh, uh, look, I'm living like the devil, but I'm the righteousness of, are you serious right now? Are you the right, dude, I'm trying to run from you. <laughs> and you're the what? 
No, no, you're not. Unless you're obeying him. See, becoming his righteousness means I don't do me. I do him. So the actions that I have didn't come from me. Me trying to work it out. I wasn't a dude to work it out. I'd hit you with a pistol. Can I talk like that out here? If I hit you with a pistol, I apologize. That was in the past. Because we're new creations. We're new creatures in him. And that's for anyone that hit anybody done anything wrong. When you come to him, that stuff is behind you. If any man be in him, he's a new creation. We got to become new and stay new. Take up your casket. Take up your death as a reminder not to live in it. Remember from whence he from whence you came, for where he from where he brought you from. And don't you let nothing or nobody, no relationship in your life should have more effect on you than him. Because that's what the scripture was trying to convey to his children. Not trying, it did convey. It did relay. And we need to snatch it and run with it. You need to be first in your life. 100, it's the truth. We got cravings, don't we? Who don't? We got stuff that is not yali. And if he's not first, we'll do it. To whomever y'all's not first in your life, you do stuff. That's not cool. That's not yali. That's not beneficial to your mother, to your father, to your, your children, to your brother, to your sister. You do stuff to them. The very ones that we complain about. Why he want to be before them? All of them sick of you. <laughs> Everybody in this list sick of you because he ain't first. That's what he trying to tell you. They be happy to see you coming. Especially in, in their time of visitation. In their time of trouble. They'll be happy to see you coming. Folks do hate on you when you first get saved. Oh, you think you better than us? Yeah. Oh, you're going to hear all that. Mm -hmm. Oh, now, oh, oh, you say for real. Now, so you better than me, huh? <laughs> I'm talking about folks you was raising church with. <laughs> it's your spouse was saying from the other side of the bed. Oh, 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 you don't watch this no more. Huh? Oh, 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 you ain't a Bible, huh? Ain't it. You burp scriptures now. But if you hold on. See, you won't be under you you won't be under the the, the council. Blessed the man walking out in the council of the unyali. They'll be under the council of the Yali because of you. And then they'll change eventually. After, you know. <laughs> after yeah, you go. <laughs> Who ironed this shirt? I did. What is an iron hole? Big <laughs> quote of scripture. <laughs> He'll heal it. <laughs> Saved as you is. Oh, <laughs> because we got to remember, there's there's a mission, and to set things in priority. He is not a hater. He has so much wisdom. It's scary to be honest with you. He is a savior, and he will save your soul, and it's the truth, and it's from situations. It's from the evil influence of titles, not good influence, the evil influence of titles, because these titles represent persuasion. I'm closing for real, y'all, but these titles represent who persuades you, who you love, who you give reverence to. Alliance to, allegiance to, right? Those titles. And he said, don't you let them have allegiance over me in your life. Because you can't be my disciple. Because what they say, you're going to obey instead of what I say. And that's going to lead to destruction. You got to follow me. 100%. And whatever you do, don't forget, you were baptized into my death. You're dead now. That same tree that I hung on, that became your death. So you grab that casket. 
And when you look in it, you should see the old you laying there. But the guy that got up, you should see is me. In you. Give y'all praise because he's worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go on and praise you if you want to. Hallelujah. 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 That was the lesson for the day. Um, we thank y'all for you. Just those three is cool, Frank. So you can come back on in too. <clears throat> thank you. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, <laughs> we, 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 we thank y'all for everybody. We pray that the word blessed you and that you um, got something on to bless you, Nicole. Uh, Trenda, Elliot, oh, you laughing. Bless you. Bless you all. Um, th th again, th thank you for chiming in. Let's let's get a let's get a let's get a let's get a prayer in, y'all. Sure. Let's say a quick prayer. You, you still you still remain in your seats, but let's pray. <clears throat> Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you, homies. We know how uh, for the privilege of, uh, of of gleaning in the truth of your word. We don't we don't want religion. We want true relationship. We need your word on a whole nother level to the saving of our souls. Um, you you desire us to be baptized into your death, that like you were raised up. Uh, by the glory of the Father, and so we should uh, r raise up to walk in the newness of life as new creations created by you. Um, we're, we're hungering and thirsting for righteousness. We want to change. We're coming to the end of ourselves because we need your resurrection. We don't, we don't want no one else influence, influence us away from you. So we surrender all authority, all rule. We surrender our hearts to you that we might love you with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. Again, you're not ego tripping. It's for our good. For we need you. In you we live, move, and have our being. Take over. Take control. We surrender all sin. We walk away from it willingly. All fornication, all adultery, all hypocrisy, play acting, pretending. We want to be transparent before you, pure in your presence. Uh, we give up all sin, even right now, willingly, all abuse, substance abuse, things that are not good for our temple. We're surrendering. Give us, give us, give us, give us of your ruah, your, your spirit, your power as we surrender. Uh, we yield our vessels to you, even right now. Save us, save us, even right now. Write our name uh, in the Mashiach book of life, in the Lamb's book of life. The, 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 the flesh that died on that tree uh, for us. We, 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 we surrender even, even right now. We need your resurrection power that you might present us blameless before your presence when we see your face. We trust me and thank you even for this. In the matchless name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. Kumbaya, we pray. Hallelujah. Okay, that, that was the prayer that I was serving. I do not plan to hold you guys at all because I know it is Mother's Day for those of you that celebrate that. I'm not mad at y'all for having a day to celebrate your mama. Again, I'm not a traditional guy about these holidays and all that, but an opportunity to say thank you, mama, please go get your thank you on. And I shall not put on a wig and try to get me something because I don't believe in that. I'm not a hater. I'm a congratulator, participator. Mama, come on, get with me. Come check me out. I, I love y'all. Um, let's get ready. Let's get ready to get out of here. Uh, Facebook Live, thanks for hanging out. If the lesson blessed you, push the share button. It might bless somebody else. Um, that's one thing. If you'd like to support the ministry and you got the Cash App, all you got to do is go to the Cash App and put in dollar sign, my first and last name, Yahuda Israel, Y-A-H-U-D-A-H-Y-I-S-R-A-E-L. If you would like to sow into the ministry, we appreciate it. Um, and we will not do the conference line this morning as far as commentary. I'm literally going to let y'all go. Y'all go love somebody. Especially a mother. Come on, y'all. Y'all continue to pray for me as I pray for you. We'll be back on tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time at 302 
302-1102, extension 815648. Again, 302-202-1102, extension 815648. Uh, Y'all go be blessed. Y'all be Baruch and Baraka Shalom. Aretha, are you on here? Aretha Jones? If you are, I, I don't see you. Oh, you're on the line. Oh, bless you. Yeah, she with us. Yeah, uh, uh, Codano's asking about you. And happy Mother's Day, one. Happy Mother's Day to all of you. Happy Mother's Day, Aretha Jones. And everybody that's on the line, absolutely love you all. Thanks for hanging out with us. Y'all go be loved on. Okay? Y'all be Baruch and Brock and Shalom. I'm gone.